water. It's a solvent to dissolve other things. Just taking the sugar here and putting it into this glass, we will end up with a solution. But once you put the sugar in, this is brown sugar, so it's not quite clear. Even though it is clear, it is now a solution. There is a lot of chemistry going on in here. There is a lot of physics. There is a lot of other forms of science going on in a simple glass of water. The one we take for granted, the one we throw away, the one we take in a bath, but it's, it's science in here happening all the time. I think one of the most memorable things that she has done was mentioning to people in government that she found it unacceptable that they were making decisions without actually coming to see what was happening at the coalface, without actually coming into the labs. And one day the minister just came in. First you saw the bodyguards arrived at the door, <laughs> and then the minister walked in, and the minister came and visited. This was the, the previous minister of science and technology, um, Dr. Ben Gubani. <laughs> he just arrived. And I think that's amazing is that she has taken science to higher levels and the scientific issues so she's, for example, on the board of the National Research Foundation. And we have absolute faith in her because she's a scientist who's at the coalface, training, teaching, and she's able to take our issues to a higher level. She's active, very active. And she knows perfectly well what she wants. And we had to follow. I'm very grateful for all these awards, but I feel like I haven't gotten there. I feel that the awards are ahead of me. I've got to catch up with them. The most amazing thing about her that we all recognize is that she's never come to the point and said, oh, I've done this, isn't that great? She's always wondering, what can I do better? What can I do more? The honors that we bestow today tell the story of what and who we are of what and who we shall be. These are our national orders, the symbols that represent the nobility of human endeavor, constituting a hall of fame that will today be enriched by new and distinguished members. When she was um, awarded that uh, presidential award, you know, she didn't know who to tell. So I was in the pack with the first year, that was last year, and then she comes and says, Prudence, Prudence, come over. I'm like, oh gosh, what's happened now? And I thought, you know, something's gone, you know, something has happened with my family, and she comes and says, read this. So I read this, and I thought, then I said, you've been, I didn't see this, it says Prof Nyogong, so I thought it was for me. <laughs> <laughs> and it said, you've been awarded um, this, uh, you know, distinguished award, and all right, Prof, so we were screaming, and we were skipped, and we were, oh, we were so happy, and, you know, I was just in tears, and she was just over the moon, and she could not believe it. Pray silence for the bestower of the order of Maktoum Dien. Like Tabon Beck, he's congratulating you. And people wanted to like shake her hand. And that's, it was only then that I started seeing her like almost like an independent person because for me she's my mom. The order of like Pungube to me was the highest honor. You know, it is, I mean, the highest honor a country can give on its citizen. I felt touched 